Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of the City of Suffolk, I would like to welcome you to today's Oath of Office and Investiture Ceremonies. I would like to now ask everyone to please rise for the posting of colors by the Joint Public Safety Honor Guard and to remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance and then the invocation by Dr. Stephen Blunt, Pastor, First Baptist Church, Mahan Street. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Why do we all pray together? Dear Lord, we pray now that you would be now our honored guest at this ceremony of both affirmation and recognition on today. We pray that even now you begin to rest your sovereign hand upon our appointed city manager and our city attorney, and that your presence would be known and felt as you dwell here among us in this celebration on today. In Christ's name we do pray, amen. Thank you, Dr. Blunt. You may be seated. As I look around today, I'd like to take just a few moments to recognize some special guests with us this afternoon. Of course, our mayor, Mike Duman, Vice Mayor Leroy Bennett, Councilperson Shelley Butler Barlow, Councilman Roger Fawcett, Councilman Donald Goldberg, Judge Hellevi Holland is joining us today as well, Councilman Tim Johnson, Councilman Leotis Williams, Councilman Lou Ward, of course our city manager, Al Moore, our acting deputy city manager, Kevin Hughes, our acting deputy city manager, Aziz Felder, Chief Mike Baraki, Suffolk Fire and Rescue, Interim Police Chief, Al Chandler, Suffolk Police Department, and of course our city attorney, William Hutchings. Also joining us from our constitutional officers, Cynthia Robertson here for the Clerk of the Circuit Court, Susan Draper, Commissioner of the Revenue, Ron Williams, Treasurer, Sheriff E.C. Harris, and our Commonwealth Attorney, Phil Ferguson. Other guests joining us are City Assessor, Holt Butt. We also have a number of other elected officials with us. And uh, also, I wanted to recognize Dr. Gordon, thank him from Suffolk Public Schools for joining us, as well as our other federal, state, and local, and elected and appointed city officials. And again, city administration and city staff. And of course, a most gracious welcome to the families and friends of Albert Moore and William Hutchings. Again, everyone, thank you so much for joining us. Please join me now in welcoming to the podium the Honorable Mayor, Mike Duman.
Good afternoon. As mayor of the wonderful city, it is indeed a pleasure to welcome you to today's ceremony as we prepare to swear in our city attorney and city manager. While today, first and foremost, is a celebration of these important milestones in the careers of two remarkable and capable men, it also provides us with an opportunity to reflect on where we are as a city. Without a doubt, these last few months and year have been difficult. This has been a time of historic challenges, but it's also been a time of opportunity, an opportunity to demonstrate resilience and strength, not only as a city council, but as an entire city. It takes courage, open-mindedness, respect, and determination to lead, especially during trying times. Reputations are forged in times of crisis, and the way each of these men have responded, not only throughout the pandemic, but also during their many years of serving our citizens in their previous roles, has strengthened Suffolk's reputation for responsive, thoughtful, and effective government. These two gentlemen have a combined experience of 56 years in their professions with 37 of those years dedicated to the city of Suffolk. Knowledge and experience are always a factor in determining one's capability to perform the duties and responsibilities enumerated in a job description. However, it is only part of the equation that ultimately determines success. The other part of the equation is related to one's character and one's work ethic. Without question, these two individuals have not only demonstrated expertise in their respective fields, but have made it abundantly apparent they possess these desirable traits and commitment. My fellow council members and I recognized we had an opportunity to hire the most capable and talented public servants to fill these positions, as evidenced by their unanimous vote to support both their appointments. Mr. Hutchings is well versed in the law and presents his opinions clearly and succinctly. He is responsive, accessible, dedicated, and committed to providing our city with exceptional legal advice. Mr. Moore, city manager, has an enormous responsibility. He is accountable for over 1,400 employees, managing a budget of close to $700 million, and responsible for every operation of our city on a day-to-day -day basis. I have contact with Mr. Moore almost every day, most days more than once. My experience has confirmed that he is dedicated, compassionate, responsible, and steadfast. His character, honesty, forthrightness, and trustworthiness is unquestionable. Through his actions, he has exhibited an unwavering desire to do what is in the best interest of our city, our employees, and our citizens. Mr. Moore and Mr. Hutchings join our other two council appointees, Mr. Billy Holt, treasurer, and Ms. Erica Dolly city clerk to create an unsurpassed team of professionals devoted to the service of our city. I, as well as all of the city council, look forward to working together with our appointees, constitutional officers, and employees to move our city forward, prosper, and improve the quality of life for all our citizens. The late Warren Bennis, an American scholar, author, and widely regarded as a pioneer in the field of leadership studies, said, and I quote, Leadership is the capacity to translate vision into reality. I believe Al and William each possess a clear line of sight to the city council vision they will work to implement. Gentlemen, thank you both for your dedicated past service and I look forward to serving with you in your new roles. Thank you, Mayor Duman. I would now ask that Chief Deputy Circuit Court Clerk Cynthia Robertson, William and his wife Melissa, and daughters Rebecca and Amanda come forward to proceed with the honors. I, William E. Hutchings, Jr. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Do solemnly swear or affirm. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And that I will faithfully and impartially. And that I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge all the duties. 
discharge all the duties incumbent upon me as incumbent upon me as the city attorney the city attorney for the city of Suffolk for the city of Suffolk according to the best of my ability to according to the best of my ability so help me God so help me God Mayor, Vice Mayor, members of City Council, thank you very much for placing your trust and faith in me with this uh, great responsibility. I am truly excited to take on this new role and continue to serve the city that has been my home since 2006. Um, I'd like to thank my family who have loved and supported me, and I know they will continue to do so. Um, I'd like to thank Helvi Holland, Judge Holland, for providing me with the experience and skills that I believe will help me do this new role well. Um, I would like to also thank my office, uh, who, without whom this job would be much harder than, than, it, than it already is. And so I appreciate all of their <laughs> support and, um, and truly being um, colleagues and friends. Um, so I am excited about this new role, and I look forward to continuing to serve the city. Thank you very much. Thank you, William. I would now ask that Chief Deputy Circuit Court Clerk Cynthia Robertson, Al, and his wife Cecilia and son Khan come forward to proceed with the honors. Raise your right hand and repeat after me, please. I state your name. I, Albert Moore. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Do solemnly swear or affirm. To support the Constitution of the United States. To support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And that I will faithfully and impartially. And I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge all the duties. Discharge all the duties. Incumbent upon me as. Incumbent upon me as. The city manager. The city manager. For the city of Suffolk. For the city of Suffolk. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. First of all, William and I were uh, in the back trying to debate who would go first on the speech. I thought second was going to be good, but he's outdone me again. But first of all, Mayor, Vice Mayor, members of council, thank you uh, for your support, your faith, and my abilities to lead this city of almost 1,500 employees, 1,400 employees, and the operations of this city. Uh, Obviously, this is humbling, always has been, um, but I do, you don't know how much I appreciate your support. Uh, as far as the employees, uh, City of Suffolk, um, we started, or I took the interim in October. It was some difficult times, and I can't thank you enough for uh, stepping up and to carry the load during the pandemic as you did. Unbelievable, and I thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Um, I look forward, uh, as we move ahead, to working with you as we accomplish the goals ahead of us, Council's priorities, and, and making sure that we make Suffolk a place that people want to come to, and that's our goal. To my family, to my wife, 33 years, I don't know how she stuck with me, and, and my son, uh, Thank you very much for uh, letting me uh, listen to me occasionally. Um, but uh, I do appreciate all the support you've given me through the years. Again, I, I'm humbled, I'm happy, same time, I'm energized. And it's, it's when you step up, you find something, and I found this in October, well, I found it last July, actually, when I went to the interim some energy that you forgot you had. And uh, I look forward to carrying the ball along with William and uh, moving this city forward. Thank you. Thank you very much, Al. 
On behalf of the Hutchings and Moore families and the city of Suffolk, we'd like to thank everyone for joining us today. Dr. Blunt will now provide our benediction, after which we invite you to join us in the city council conference room just to your right out the door for a dessert reception so that you can give your own personal con congratulations to these fine men. Thank you again. Would we please stand together if we're able to? Might we pray together once more? Lord, for what our eyes have seen, for what our ears have heard, for what our hearts and our souls have felt alike, we are grateful for all that has been done in this moment and for your eternal presence throughout. And now as we prepare to leave from this place, but never from thine presence, we pray now that you would stay now our eternal companion throughout life. This is our prayer. In Christ's name we do pray. Amen.